Hey, Dr. Tyler Williams with Better Sleep SLC, and we are excited today to be back with you to share some relevant, timely information, and most importantly, to help get you answers to the questions you're looking for. So, one thing that people ask a lot about, and this is a very sensitive and touchy subject, and that is for males especially, uh, low testosterone levels. And the reason we're talking about this today is because some new studies are showing that lack of sleep or less hours of good sleep um, is causing a significant big drop in testosterone levels in men. That includes young healthy men. So um, the University of Chicago Medical Center did a study recently and they found that men who were getting five or less hours of sleep per night um, had the testosterone levels of someone 10 years older than them. So essentially, if you're not getting proper sleep, you could be aging 10 years faster than you should be, which you know causes things such as fatigue, um, you know, lack of motivation. Uh, you know, foggy mind, foggy brain, those kind of things. And, you know, this is a, a, a big, sensitive, hot topic because it affects millions and millions of men worldwide. And at Better Sleep SLC, we're here to help you sleep better, um, not only sleeping longer, hopefully, but also during that time you're sleeping to get a better quality of sleep. And what this research brings to life just helps prove many things we already know is that so much of our medical conditions and our health is tied into and associated with how long we sleep and the quality of our sleep. So if you're looking for some answers to this, um, there's a good chance you have some type of sleep disorder or something sleep related that's not allowing you to get the rest that you could while you're sleeping. Uh, what some other research has shown is that when we don't sleep well enough, our brain almost becomes um, kind of mushy or almost like waterlogged, as they called it. And if you've seen a piece of wood that's waterlogged, it can't hold any more water. So when our sleep's not good, um, not only do we have lack of energy and fatigue, but our memory doesn't work as well because it's like it can't absorb any more memories or learning or those kind of things. So if you're finding you're struggling at work, or school, or you can't focus, or you can't seem to remember things. Um, this is a big deal, and especially as we start looking for more ways to help people with Alzheimer's and dementia. But even just you know day-to-day -day life, if you're feeling like you're overwhelmed and you can't remember all the things you need to do, um, there's a, a good chance that you're looking for answers to questions you have, and you may be one of the millions and millions and millions of Americans who have a sleep disorder that's undiagnosed. So a couple things we encourage you to do, first of all, is get a sleep test, either a home sleep test or an in-lab or in-hospital uh, hospital sleep test. And then also meet with your physician and have all of these things checked. And if you need some pointers or some tips on who and how and what to call, um, then please give our office a call or text us. Our number's below and we'd be happy to help you uh, connect you to the right people because our goal isn't just to help people sleep better, but most importantly, to help people have a better quality of life, and we wanna do the same for you. So thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.